this is really Girl. impact. This is really impact. This is really impact. Yes. Okay. And you want to know how we met? Is that what you're asking us for? How you got started. Well, mm -hmm. we were, Rudy was a junior and I was a freshman. And we were in a mixed ensemble. There were three sopranos, three altos, three tenors, three bass. And I was a tenor. And I was a soprano. And we sang at various school activities. And I really didn't notice him too much because I had a crush on another guy who was, Jim was a tenor too. Jim Leonard was a tenor too, yeah? I think he sang bass. Oh, well, the bass man. And he used to come tobogganing and stuff like that where I lived a lot, so I saw him, but I never saw Rudy outside of the mixed ensemble. And then one day, I walked into the theater. We were getting ready to practice, and there was this guy on the stage playing the Canadian Sunset on the piano, and it was beautiful, and he was really handsome. And I said to the one of the girls that was in the mixed ensemble with me, who is that? And she said, oh, that's Rudy Hildebrand. And I thought, mm, not bad. So that's how we got started, and that I realized that he was really a hunk. So yeah. you have to say what you think now. How did, well, how I did recall you? seeing this lady, and when we changed classes, I'd always try to get her attention, like looking at her. She was always mystical. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty nice check right there. <laughs> but, you know, this flirtation just naturally happens to all of us, I guess. So, you went out when? So, uh, his sister, who was in my class, came up and sat next to me probably six weeks or so before the prom. And she said that my brother wants to know if you'll go to the prom with him. And I'm like, me? And she said, yes, he would like to take you to the prom. So he had his sister ask me. And so, of course, I asked my mother. And Same she class. said, yeah, she said no. So I told Rudy, yes. I was a defiant child. And, uh, you know, I, I figured somehow, some way, the good Lord would provide away. And my sister, God bless her, who was a year ahead of Rudy in school, intervened with mom and told her she should let me go because he was a very nice guy. So we went to the prom and it was very nice. We double dated with a friend of his. So the next date after the prom occurred? A year later. Uh, we didn't go, we didn't go to the fair my freshman between freshman and sophomore. That's right, we did go to the fair. The year later, he was now a senior. He sang with a group called The Sparks. There were five of them, and they were on television. They played all over the geographic area. They sang and performed. And um, he was, like, really, really handsome. And all the girls, I mean, I, down to sixth grade, probably, were in awe of him. And at, toward the end of the year, he said, would I go to the alumni banquet with him? I think that came first. And the Sparks were singing. And so mother left me go, and he asked me to go to the prom, and she left me go. And we went to the Cripple County Fair together. So that was the senior prom. You did His the junior. senior prom. I was a sophomore. All right. I was very much in love with Elvis Presley, and he said he, he always said he was intimidated. That was difficult. By Elvis, not that Elvis asked me out or anything, but boy, <laughs> had he asked me out, I'd have been there. Trust me. So. There was always the buffer zone there. Yeah. That was over, over and so that was it, and then. That summer, between my sophomore and junior year, he was now graduated. He took me to the fair, and 
won you a lot of teddy bears. Won me a lot of teddy bears, and I, I had a, a, a disagreement or something like that with a friend of mine, and I was going to the shore with her, and she got mad at me, and she said I couldn't go to the shore with her because she was mad at me, and I was heartbroken, and so my mother said I could go to Cleveland and visit with my cousin, so she put me on the bus, and. I made arrangements for them to pick me up and I went to Cleveland and my my cousin was dating a guy who had a friend who came to pick me up at the bus station and so for two weeks I dated this guy and it was a magical summer he was a lifeguard football player just graduated the same year he did lifeguard at Jogga Lake Park uh, we went to the movies, we went to the park, we, went, we were at the beach, we were just, it was just a magical summer. I came home and I didn't see Rudy again till Christmas, right? Christmas. I think it was, yeah, it was Christmas. And, uh... Let's, let's stop right there for now.